What is up, everyone? My name is Phil. The channel is Phil's Polls. And we are back with another card opening video. Today, we have something I'm really excited for, something a little bit different. Uh, we do these all the time over on um, Houdini's channel. Um, I'll link them down in the description. Go and check them out. And that is Sapphire Box Wars. Typically, we'll do them like one box versus one box or, you know, stuff like that. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to do almost like a competition type war. So I'm going to open these two boxes. Somebody else is going to open these two boxes. Well, they're for somebody else. I'm still going to open them. And then the winner gets this box as a personal. So uh, how about that? the winner will get all the cards and the box in the middle. I'm going to be warring with uh, my buddy Wolf's Breaks. Um, go and check him out. Um, I will link him down in the description as well. And uh, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. So I reached out on Twitter and I had three people accept. So I'm gonna do three different breaks of these uh, these wars and, and we'll see how we do. So yeah, leave a like, subscribe uh, if you're excited about the uh, box wars. They're a lot of fun, uh, a lot of money on the line. These are not cheap. They're like 340, 350 a box now. They're, they're pretty crazy. I am never gonna financially recover from this. Um, but lots of good stuff in here, so um, hopefully we can uh, we can get some some good ones. So I will, so yeah, I'll put these ones up here. This one towards the back, so they'll all stay on the screen, just to you know, just because I can. Ordinarily, you know, I wouldn't really care, but um, you know, since these cards are for somebody else, it's like you know, he knows it's going to be a recorded video, but nevertheless. So this is my box. Um, actually, wait. Aww. Let me check on that. I asked him to pick a side. And let's see what he said. Wolf's card breaks. Uh, he wants the left, so I apologize. This is uh, this is Wolf's box. So let's uh, let's see how we do. The only so the way these work is the only thing to consider in the war is color and autos. And typically in one of these boxes you'll have uh, one color and one auto. Sometimes two color and one auto. Very rarely two autos and a color. But for all intents and purposes, you're getting one color, one auto. Those are the only cards that count. Best card out of the two sides wins. Uh, wins this box in the middle. So you could get a $500, $600 Tatis base card, um, a $300 Vladdy base card, doesn't matter. Um, the only thing that will decide the winner is the hits, so the color. And right off the bat, he's got something pretty nice to play for. You like that? You like that? And he's got a hit in this box, so he might have a double color box. Oh, this is his auto. And it's a green auto, so he's he's coming out swinging. I'm gonna put that one aside. Got a green. Not much there. Yeah, and the only way to uh, the only way you're gonna have a green is uh, it being an auto because there's no there's no green in the base cards. Um, let's see here. So auto out of the first pack. That's kind of unusual. And then to not hit your color right after that. So this could be a double auto pack. I'm not exactly sure. Um, Howie Kendrick. Alex Avila. Another nice base card. Carter Kaibum. And his color's in here. It's an orange. Yasmiro Petit. And there's the Kaibum. I'll set that one aside. Uh, Pe Petit's not really going to factor in much. Um, his auto... Or his next box color is uh, probably going to be better than that. And Castellanos and Whit Merrifield. And last pack of box one. No hit. So it was just uh, just auto in the first pack. And uh, let's find out what it is. There's the uh, the Keston. Very very nice card. It's like 200 bucks. Um, J T Riddle. And. Pretty nice, Kikuchi. Uh, pretty nice auto there. Green Kikuchi to 50. So not a bad, not a bad start. I mean, I'm gonna have to beat a green Kikuchi auto in uh, in two boxes, which is not easy. And he had some nice base in there too. So um, not looking great for me off the bat, but you know you can make up for that in one uh, in one swoop with a. Eloy, Alonzo, and I have a color in my first pack, which is kind of nice. Let's see who it is. Mike Miner. Um, not not going to beat a Kikuchi, but um, you know, that means I might. Oh gosh. 
Oh man. I really don't want to lose this war now. And it's a purple Thai buttery auto. Oof. And Tatis. 600 bucks right there. Um, I really hope I have a good uh, color. Second color in this box or have a monster second box because Thai Buttery, I mean, it's a purple auto to 10. Three of 10, but I don't think it's worth more than the um, Kokuchi green. But like I said, hopefully I either have, there's an Otani, nice base card. Um, hopefully, you know, I do have another color in this pack that's, uh, or in this box that's decent. And uh, hopefully my second box is good. But either way, I'm happy to see some, some nice cards coming out of these boxes. Um, that's reassuring at least. That, uh, you know, these won't be a, certainly won't be a boring war. And we got another color and it's a red. Kurt Suzuki. Texas Rangers Stadium, and Adam Duvall. Five of five, not the red we're looking for. Um, so, yeah, I'm losing at the moment. Let's, uh, let's see what his second box has. Let me know down in the comments if you guys, um, I'm just gonna slip these just a little bit out of the focus window, there we go. Um, let me know if you guys enjoy these wars and wanna see me do them with other stuff, different products even, I can I can always do that. And people seem to seem to understand that I'm not going to be, you know, duping anybody um, with these edited videos. So I'm pretty sure it won't be too tough to get people in. So here's his auto, and it's Nick Shufo. So I'm not going to do him uh, much good there. Um, so he's basically, unless he has like a monster color in here, I think it's going to be, and here's his color. And it's Russell Martin, purple. So pretty sure that it's gonna come down to the green Kikuchi Auto. And uh, not, a, not an impossible card to beat, but a tough card for sure. Um, let's see what else is going on in his box. There could be another, there could be another hit in here. Doubt it, but could happen. CC, Nemo. Colby Allard, rookie. Sayonetta. Two packs to go out of his second box. Yeah, do check out the uh, the description and uh, go look up uh, Wolf's Card Breaks. He breaks on uh, Breakers TV, um, which is their, like, an independent platform. Um, pretty interesting stuff. And uh, all around good guy. All right, here's uh, my second box. I'm gonna need a pretty good card. My guess is that Kikuchi Green is like, uh, like a thirty-five, forty-dollar card. So it's it's gonna take a good a good card to beat it, um, a good auto or color, um, but certainly not impossible. I mean, it's not like a you know Tatis auto or something. Um, Samarja, Justin Turner, Mullins feels like a hit in here. Nope. Morales, Brian Anderson. Uh, no hidden here either, so. Um, yeah, so it's coming down to uh, four packs. Should have one color, one auto. Still neither. There's a trout, like a $50 card, which is crazy. Considering uh, it's like a Mike Trout base card. All right, here is our auto. I will save it. I think this is the color, it is. And here is our last pack. Let's see if there's anything good. Nick Senzel, nice base card. Set that one aside. And let's see the color first. Ramirez, Joey Rickard, Chaz Rowe. Not gonna do the trick. Uh, and our auto is Ponce de Leon. And I think I lost. 
and I lost a lot of good stuff. Nothing crazy in the autos, but Nick Senzel, Mike Trout, Fernando Tatis Jr., like a $600 card. Kikuchi Green Auto, that was a card that won. A Keston and a Kaibu. Um, that one stings. That's, uh, yeah, that hurts a little bit. I will look up um, the uh, Purple Tie Buttery, you know, just because. It is to 10, um, but I don't think it's going to do it. Um, and uh, on that note, I will open up this last box for the winner. I mean, even if, even if it turns out that that butt tree is worth more than the Kikuchi, I'm still opening this box regardless. But I believe I have lost the war. And um, in the edit, I will <laughs> I'll tell you guys too. So. Losers, in other words. Well you won't be wondering. Because um, I'm not going to like look it up while I'm recording, but I will in the editing process. Uh, Brandon Lau, nice uh, little base card. So these cards are just for the winner, so I should actually, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, here's our auto, Chris Shaw. Not a horrible auto. Otani, nice base card. Let's see a Super Fractor, that'd be fun. I haven't pulled one of those myself in, in a while from uh, from Sapphire, and they're not uh, they're not crazy rare because it's such a limited run of this. It's an orange, and it's J T Riddle. So I'm glad that there wasn't like at least you know a crazy crazy um, winner box on the line because then I would have been really salty. I mean losing the losing the tattoo space is enough. I didn't need to like hit some. Oh, there you go. I spoke too soon. Watch to be like an Eloy in this pack too. No, nope, just another Keston. So, uh, Wolf's card breaks. Um, absolutely crushed it. Two Keston. Um, this Tatis. I believe he won it with a green Kikuchi auto. And uh, yeah, he gets every card sitting out here, which uh, is pretty crazy. That was a... About a $1,700 uh, break right there, a little bit more. So uh, yeah, not cheap. I'm uh, you know kind of bummed about that one, not gonna lie, but that's the way wars go. I asked for it, I brought it on myself. You know, These were all my boxes and I'm like, hey, let's war. Let's war for a video and this is what happened. So hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, leave some sad faces in the comments for me and um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.